Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to review the load combinations that were imported into STAD Foundation Advanced from STAD Pro. You will also learn how to model additional loads on the MAP Foundation and how to ensure that the newly modeled loads are appropriately included in the service and ultimate load combinations. Let's start by reviewing the load combinations in STAD Pro. In STAD Pro, loads can be combined using one of two methods, traditional load combinations or repeat load cases. In a traditional load combination, the load results are combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing. Traditional load combinations are only appropriate for a linear elastic analysis. In a repeat load case, a new primary load case is created using the combinations of previously defined primary load cases. Repeat load cases are appropriate for a second order analysis, such as a P-delta analysis, a direct analysis, or any analysis that includes tension only or compression only members. For this model, we generated traditional load combinations and performed a linear elastic analysis. In preparation for designing the MAP foundations, service and ultimate load combinations were generated in STAD Pro, and those combinations were imported into STAD Foundation Advanced. During the import process, the load combination type for each load combination was verified and modified as needed. The service load combinations will be used to check the mat foundation against the allowable bearing pressure or to evaluate the footing stability. The ultimate load combinations will be used to check the shear design and the reinforcement design for the mat foundation. Since traditional load combinations were generated in STAD Pro, the imported load combinations can be reviewed in the Project Explorer by clicking on the physical model, then loads and the load combination option. In the load combinations table, click on any of the load combinations. Notice that you can review the load cases of the selected combination and modify the load combination type if needed. Now that we have reviewed the load cases and load combinations, let's learn how to model additional loads on the MAP foundation and how to ensure that the newly modeled loads are appropriately included in the service and ultimate load combinations. For this model, let's assume that a surcharge pressure is acting on the entire surface of the MAP foundation and it's acting as a dead load. Additional loads can be applied directly to the MAP foundation that was modeled in STAD Foundation Advanced, but the additional loads cannot be assigned to an imported STAD Pro load case. For that reason, our first step is to create a new primary load case. To do that, select the Loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on the Primary Load Case icon. In the Create Load Case dialog, enter the appropriate load case parameters. I will name the load case surcharge load, and since this new load is considered a dead load, I will associate this load case to the dead load case we imported in STAD Pro. The associated load case field instructs STAD Foundation Advanced to generate new user-defined load combinations to include the new primary load case. To complete the process of creating a new load case, enter a factor of 1.0 and then click on the Create button. Notice that the user-defined load case has been added in the Project Explorer. After the new primary load case is created, notice that STAD Foundation Advanced has automatically generated new user-defined load combinations that include the new surcharge load. The new load combinations correspond to the load combinations that we imported from STAD Pro. Notice that since the surcharge load has been associated with the imported dead load case, the new load case has been included in every load combination that contains dead load. After the new load case is created, loading can be applied directly to the MAP foundation as a contact area load, a line load, or an area load. 
For this example, we will create a 240 pounds per square foot area load on the mat foundation. In the ribbon toolbar, click on the loading tab and click on the create area load icon. In the add area load dialog, enter the appropriate parameters, including the name, load case, and magnitude. Be sure to enter the magnitude with the appropriate sign convention. Once the parameters have been entered, click on the Create button. Next, assign your area load to the mat foundation by selecting the mat foundation in the main window and then click on the Assign by Object icon in the ribbon toolbar. Then, click on the Assign button in the Assign Area Load dialog. This concludes the process for reviewing the load combinations imported from STAD Pro and applying additional loads in STAD Foundation Advanced. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.